to my kitchen. I'm going to show you what it's for dinner tonight. We're going to have a cranberry chicken salad. First off, you're going to go to your grocery store and get a bag of lettuce of your choice. I chose a mixed green lettuce, but you can also use iceberg or romaine or any other type of lettuce that you prefer. This is just a healthier option. I'm going to use chicken on this tonight and you can get it already cooked at your grocery store or you can go ahead and cook it at home and cut it down like I've done here tonight. I'm going to put dried cranberries in my salad and I'm also going to put in some shredded carrots. And the other thing that I really like in my salad is sliced almonds. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding these and then I'm going to tell you some optional ingredients that you can actually put in this salad to make it your own. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the almonds. I like lots of almonds in my salad. If you don't like almonds, walnuts are good or pecans are good in this. And then I like lots of shredded carrots. Give it some good color. If you don't like carrots, you don't have to add it in here. And then I'm going to go with our dried cranberries. Now another option of fruit is you could either do some fresh apples chopped or mandarin oranges in the salad. I've done that and that is excellent as well. And then we're going to top it off with our chicken. Now if you wanted to do the salad without the meat, you can. You can just do it with just the fruit and the carrots and the almonds um, and just side, do it as a side. You don't actually have to do it as a main course, but tonight this is going to be our main course. So we're going to add in our chicken. I'm just going to cut it up so it's kind of bite-sized pieces so when we get ready to eat it, it's good and ready to go. All right, well next up I'm going to show you how I mix up the homemade dressing that I make for the salad. Okay, y'all, we're going to show you how to make our homemade raspberry vinaigrette dressing. This is going to go great on the salad. The good thing about this is you can double this recipe. I'm gonna make enough just to go on this salad this evening. But if you have a larger salad for a larger group of people, you can easily double this. So, and it also lasts about a week or two in your refrigerator. So I make some up ahead sometimes and have it on hand. That way, if I wanna have this dressing for a later time, then you already have it prepared. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use three tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in, I have a little dressing maker that once you get it all in, you can shake it up and it's easy to serve from that. And then there's gonna be one tablespoon of raspberry vinegar. And then there's gonna be a fourth of a cup of salt and a fourth of a mint teaspoon, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and a fourth of a teaspoon of sugar. And then you're gonna put in pepper to taste, however much pepper you like. And then we're gonna put in one fourth of a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Normally what I do is I go ahead and just put that down in there so it comes off of my Spoon easier and it gets in with the other ingredients. Now I'm just going to do a good shake, put my top on, and then you have your dressing. Like I said, you can always double this or triple it depending on how much dressing you actually like. It's going to go great on this chicken salad. As you can see, it looks delicious. It's a good summertime meal when it's really hot outside and you don't really want to cook and be over the stove or have your oven on in your house. And you can always have it for lunch or for a main meal. But tonight, this is what we're having for dinner. I hope that you'll try this recipe and I hope that you'll enjoy it very much and give me some feedback and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope that you have a great evening and thank you so much for watching.